previously on our All right, so that has come true. Thomas Zane did the same on the set. Let's see. I gotta I gotta wait for this because I had to go through the entire cutscene again. That's where the last checkpoint was. They didn't put it in the chapter in for whatever reason. So they're like, yeah, just just uh, watch this stuff again. So I'm fully prepared to have all of my equipment taken from me because that's just been the way this game has operated. And jumped. I can get to her now. I can finish this. I don't know how many more episodes are left in this game. And I think there's a, a few pieces of DLC, so we're probably going to be in Alan Wake for quite a while. Well, we're back in his apartment in New York. Hopefully the uh, Yankees have lost the World Series this year. And the light hurt my eyes. I needed my sunglasses and painkillers. Painkillers! In one of my finer moments of self-deception, I swore to quit drinking. Pick up my glasses because I need to wear sunshades inside. Oh, no. So cool. The sunglasses made the world look bearable. Look at me. Now I could keep my eyes so open without cool. feeling like a vampire in the sun. That should be the fucking thumbnail. Alan Wake, wearing his sunglasses. Our painkillers, holy shit. Holy shit. Have we done it? Let's do it. He didn't even open the cap. He's just like, fuck this, man. I can do this trans dimensional pill fucking eating. The prospect of being awake started to seem bearable again. All right, we're going to leave the bedroom. There was a message waiting for me on the machine. Let's go read our book first. Get our golden guns. That'd be nice if we got golden guns. Wait, 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 wait. There might be loot around here. I wouldn't want to leave loot lying around. So let's have a have another look around the Alan Wake's apartment. Actually, what year is it supposed to be? I, I think I wasn't paying attention to him when he was talking there. Can't go out there. Cannot skydive into the New York streets, unfortunately. Surprised that they, they allow people to go out on the balcony. Seems like a health risk. You have one new message. Ow! Are you still asleep? Wakey, wakey! You should have your show on your TiVo. If Alice wasn't too mad to record it, yeah, she called me earlier and really chewed me out. Yeah, yeah, we went a little overboard last night. But parties are a part of this business. Ow, look, I'm saying this is your friend. She's not doing your career any favors by trying to run your life like that, okay? I'll talk to you later, Al. Watch the show! I have to go watch the show. Okay, that looks very, um, analog to me. Thank you. Alright, we'll just, we'll just watch the show. We have a great show tonight. I've been talking with the best-selling author, Alan Wake, about his new book, The Sudden Stop. Yeah, good read. Go buy it. No, no, it is a good read. Look, uh, I'm going to be honest here. Is that wise? No, but I'm going to do it anyway. I got people who give me the lowdown on books. I'm a busy guy. But this one, I actually read from cover to cover. I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan. Wow, thanks. Now, this might be a spoiler for those who haven't read the book yet. Based on the sales figures, the two people out there who haven't read the book yet. I haven't read the book yet. <laughs> but this last book is all about the death of the main character, the hard-boiled New York detective, Alex Casey. Now, there's been a lot of outrage about this. Why the hell did you kill Casey? What the hell is that supposed to be Max Payne? Good riddance. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Seven years and six books is a long time. He was a gloomy guy to spend all your working hours with, and it was a good run. But it's time to explore new things. My next book will be a departure from the old for me. You selfish bastard. Always thinking of yourself. Well, you've certainly given us a lot of entertainment over the years. And now that you mention it, Casey was a gloomy guy. Never had much luck with his love life with the ladies. Was that 
autobiographical in any way? Yeah, no kidding. Casey's lady friends tended to die on him. Really? Casey, it was all about his pain. It's all about his pain. That's why he took the painkillers. Not autobiographical about that. I'm a happily married man. My wife is my muse. <laughs> well, congratulations. That's great to hear. So, how's the publicity tour been treating you? Good. Great. But I gotta say, I'm glad to be back home in New York. Well, you've certainly been on the news a lot lately. Lots of parties and, um... You got into a fight with some paparazzi. Oh, man. Well, that guy was really in my face. I lost my temper. I know that wasn't cool. Uh, you are famous for that temper. <laughs> well, I did also write several books. That's like just admitting that, that you did wrong and, and uh, winning the court case for that, that dude. Stop. And it's in bookstores now. Go get that is like the Max Payne cover, isn't it? You out there who haven't bought it yet. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have for you tonight. I want to thank all our guests for the evening. Alan Wake, Sam Lake. What's more, do the face for a Sam. There it is. Sam Wake. Our musical guests, Poets of the Fall. Thank you, and good night. At least I've been funny. I told myself I could live with that. Hey, honey. Did you watch the show? I didn't say anything stupid, if that's what you want to know. Okay, Grumpy. You want to ask him something? Are you going to start with me about drinking now? You know what? Go back to sleep, Alan. Where the hell is she? What? Now you can't even talk to me? Well, this morning I was angry because you said you'd be home at midnight and you showed up at 7 a.m. and passed out in mid-sentence. Camera really wanted to check her ass out. Angry? This goddamn tour. It's gotten out of hand. Oh, honey. It's almost over, right? We can get back to normal and you can start writing again. I'm sorry. Is that all there is to Ellen is, is writing? You're not thinking straight. Just take no, shower. I don't want a shower, a shower scene because uh, yeah, we're playing as a guy. Right, now, if we're playing as a girl, that definitely would be something Once that I want to watch. Let's go away together. A vacation. Just you and me. Some peace and quiet. Yeah. Let's get back to the story. Wow. The clicker was the key to the cabin. I had to return to Cauldron Lake to I don't think that Alice can be saved. I think she drowned it, man. What the fuck? I'm going back to the lake to finish this. I'm going to write an ending to the story in the manuscript on my own terms. To make it all right. Why can't you just write it here? The last page is still in the typewriter. I need to read it first. Everything needs to be just right. Zane tried to cut some corners, and it didn't end well. Okay, ready when you are. I'm sorry, Sarah, but I need to do this alone. Barry? Wow! Top 10 anime betrayals. Ms. Weaver, close the door when I leave. You just, you just betrayed the fuck out of your homegirl. That makes no sense. See you later. She's like, well, that fucking sucks. I was part of the posse, and then I got betrayed. I'd flick the switch of the clicker. Had it done this? I didn't stop to question it. I had to take advantage of the sunlight to get to the lake. On Zane's page, I'd stood on the rim of Cauldron Lake, about to use the clicker. That's where I was headed. Okay, so we don't have any weapons since it's daytime. We only have weapons at nighttime. I hope this isn't just like the last episode. Alone. Wait, in I have a weapon in daylight? Surrounded by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest landscape. Really? It was hard not to let doubt creep in one last time. I could still chalk a fucking everything Verizon to a ad in a video. What the fuck? I had enough imagination to make up something like this. Having been in the cabin all this time, trapped in a story inside my head, gone mad from grief over Buckle up, it's the law. Let's not. There would be no way of knowing. Let's steal this car. I told myself it didn't really matter. My course was set. Can I go back this way, though? This looks like a dead end. Actually, which way is the dead end? It goes into the darkness, so I, I feel like... That's the correct way. I'm not even paying attention to the road here. Alright. 
that does nothing. Okay, maybe there was a um, secret back there. Okay, so I don't want to get too far away from it. Watch me be like super confuzzled about this whole thing. What's the fuck? A bunch of ads in this part of the game. Why? No, I, I, I should hold my tongue. It's over here. It's over here. It's hard to see. Okay, yeah, you got logs blocking it off over here. How convenient that there would be a truck wreck right there. Alright, so the only way we have to go is up that way. I was driving on the wrong side of the road the entire time, wasn't I? Like, I have to even fucking care about that because this is a video game. There's no traffic, even. He drives out in Washington, I guess. There's no people here either. This is mysterious. So do they take all my stuff? I don't know. I don't understand why I have the equipment that I have. All right. The Majestic Motel. Comfortable beds, clean rooms, wireless internet, laundry facilities, cable TV, and kitchenette in every room. This is this is the motel right here. It's just this this camper. That's the motel that's being advertised. Oh, batteries. Why do I need the batteries? It's like unless it's just going to suddenly turn into nighttime. Let's get the red truck. Red truck is superior to the, the gray truck. Whatever color that is. Lodging area ahead. Or logging? Did I say lodging or logging? I'm guessing that part up there is blocked off. I, I'm not sure though. I found a hunting rifle. Oh, nice. How nice. Okay, so I'm going to get back to the car and go up there, but I think it's going to be blocked off, and that's why this part of the, the, the map is available. It's very available. I'm getting the feeling that it's just going to suddenly turn into the darkness. Yep, it's blocked off. How oh, nice of that tow truck to, to be parked there. Can we loot this house? Or is it just a barn? An inaccessible barn at that. Oh, there's a thermos there. Now let's see if we can just walk through one of these doors. It doesn't look like it because the, the windows look pretty opaque. coffee fix. Oh, no, no, no. I can see inside there. Doesn't look like they constructed much in there, though. Let's so put the pop in and everything. Okay, let's go back and I guess my only route forward is through the logging area. That's to death. Very, very death. Let's just drive. Let's drive. We've got an off-road vehicle now. Underside should be high enough from the ground. I see you, Arrow. I see you there. But, 
But where's the box? Why would you put the box over here? Wait, Flare got any ammo. Wait, is that all that's down here? Is that? I am getting a quite a bit of the confusions here. Especially on the place I'm supposed to go to. Yeah, why can't I turn the radio on? Okay, so there must be like some branching path down here somewhere. Okay, right there. Does not look like I could drive down here. Actually, it looks like death. <clears throat> oh, it does say that way. Maybe I go in, in the tunnel and I just have to be on foot. Oh, it's so tiring, Alan Wake. Yeah, I know. What if that FBI agent guy is going to be the final boss? He's just going to pop out. The darkness had touched me. There was a link between us. Always would be. I could feel its presence again getting closer. <laughs> Exactly as I thought. Hey, they left me with the lantern, though. Excellent. Oh, I just walked right into that. Can't believe I did that. The Dark Presence was no longer trying to capture the writer so he could create the ending it wanted. The writer knew too much. He was too strong. He's too strong! He left behind by Thomas Zane, something that could hurt it. Now, the darkness was doing everything in its power to simply stop the writer from ever reaching Cauldron Lake and the dark place it came from. Was there a vehicle? Alright, light. Drive the rest of the way. I have a superior weapon that has infinite ammo. Damn, they they really had zero faith in me keeping this car and, and that car uh, together. You guys look like you just need run over. I wasn't gonna pass that up. Alright, good. It just feels satisfying killing these guys who are part of the darkness. <laughs> okay, we're not going that way. I thought I saw some yellow stuff. It's the Majestic Motel, the, the thing that we read the, the um, advertisement about. Let's go loot the place. This seems like a reasonable thing to do. Alright, let me go inside. Based on the signature in the motel register, Agent Nightingale had stayed here, in room number two. 
All right, the Majestic Motel, general information. Refundable $100 security deposit is required on all reservations. No personal checks accepted. You take all major credit cards and bank cards. Checkout time is 10 a.m. No dial music, no pets. One vehicle per unit. Facilities are for registered guests only. No visitors are allowed on the premises after 9 p.m. No exceptions. We hope you enjoy your stay at the Majestic. If you're a senior or a vet, ask about our discounts. Your discount is that they actually add five dollars to your bill. No, 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 no. Not yet. Shotgun ammo. It's got to be a shotgun around here too, uh, somewhere. Get your revolver ammo. Well, they didn't say anything about guns. Oh, this must be, uh, Nightingale's room. This had obviously been the room where Agent Nightingale had stayed when he hadn't been busy harassing me. Oh, how nice of him to leave flashbangs behind. What's that bag? Big, spicy BBQ. Give yourself, Unless that's Agent Nightingale. No. Doesn't look douchebaggy enough. El Blasto. Alright, I want to loot the rest of the room, so calm down. Oh, I can only get in that one room. Is that how it is? Looks like they constructorated inside of it. Is there anything behind it? It doesn't look like it. So this just intersects the road? How? I don't like this. Let me, let me get the other car. This thing has shit handling. Actually, let me get this one. Does this one even run? It does not. Oh, oh, I missed this. Let me see what kind of loot's in there. Alright, we, we have uh, looted that place. Go around, get back in the car, and start driving. You gotta get down to Calder Lake to save the Alice's. Yeehaw! That was very unimpressive, actually. I guess I had to drive around because that was. Wait, can I take this thing? Looks like an ambulance. I want to take it. Ah, oh, come on. I guess it has to have the lights on in, on the inside. Otherwise, it's not drivable. Lame. Ill lame. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? I guess I'm gonna have to get out and then walk. Hold up, hold up. I'd rather conserve ammo. There's still another guy out there? Where? Oh, two guys behind me. Who would run up to a car and attack it with a knife? Does that not count? Do I do I have to kill the things that were floating around? Ow! Where is it? Okay, never mind. We are going to the Cauldron Lake. I got 
checkpoint. All right, you guys need to you guys need to beware because I have got the heavy duty lantern. Oh, god damn. Fucking barrel came at me. Rare. Gotta make sure to take that stuff out. Because it ain't gonna make your life easy. What is with this... get through here. I feel like this is just going to fall out from under me. Ow! Jeez! Really? Really, game? Oh, you know what? I got these flashbangs and everything. I don't know why I'm not using them. Looks like the black evil, I guess it's just oil. What the hell? Ah, oh, fuck, I just threw that off the edge. All right, yeah, that just takes care of that. Okay. Flashbangs are my friend in this area. This is not the area I want to be in. Need my health back. I got very, very wounded. This looks like he's going to come out and attack me. Can I, can I control myself? Scary. Nice to see you too. Yay, a car. I like that bridge section. Bridge section kind of sucked. And you know what? Actually, I think I'm going to end it here and we'll go for a drive in the next episode.